Hey guys, this is Cross for Double Cross Games, and today we are going to upgrade our simple wandering AI to be able to patrol as well. Uh, in addition, with the coming out of Unreal 4.26, I've actually gone back and followed my own tutorials all the way from the uh, uh, setting of the simple AI to this one on Unreal 4.26. So right now I am actually on Unreal 4.26 uh, with starter content on the top-down template. And so far, I haven't found any differences between 4.25 and 4.26 as far as anything we've done so far for this AI. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing we need to do is we're going to go ahead and since we're going to have this AI patrolling as his idol, we're going to go ahead and go into our enum that we made and we're going to switch his idol wander. We're just going to call it idle. and that'll be that for that then we're gonna create a second enum for our idle types this will allow us to set the same NPC to either patrol or wander depending on what his particular deal is in game so we'll go back to blueprints enumeration and we'll do idle types double click that move it over here so you guys can see and like I said before an enum is simply just a list so you just add one and we'll do idle or we'll do patrol and we'll add another one and we'll call that idle wander that way we have both the idols we've created so far in there so now that we have that if we go back to our behavior tree, we find that we're not checking that anywhere. We just have our one idol, and it's right here. What we need to do is, like we did before, we have a selector to allow us to pick which branch to go down. So we just need to add a, another selector below the one we used to have for our idol side. And this is going to have a decorator, a blackboard decorator. And it's going to connect to both of our idle types. But we haven't actually created that key yet, have we? The next thing we need to do is go into our blackboard and add a new key. It's going to be of the type enum, and it's going to be idle type. We go to the little downward arrow on the on the blackboard keys details panel and we'll select idle types from the list and that will give us the key that we're gonna need for this blackboard idle type this here is actually going to take the place of our selector that we put down here. Down here we're gonna switch this instead of it being a state key to an idle type key and make sure that we select the idle wander because that's the state that we have here already made. So now that we have that updated we have our in the event that the state comes out to idle we go down this path then we are going to have to make a service to check what type of idle our character is supposed to be going down so we'll make a service for that in a second once we have that we will go down into our sequences where the behavior will actually take place but while we're setting that up I'll go ahead and do the same thing for our new behavior we're about to make so it'll be an idle type and it'll be patrol so yeah. it's looking more and more like a tree now huh alright so we said we needed to create a service to determine whether we're gonna go to the idle wander or the patrol in order to do that we have to actually tell our MPC base what type of idle he's gonna go to 
So we are going to actually double click our MPC base and create a new variable. And it's going to be of idle type. And we will expose it so that we can change it on the fly. And it's going to be of the type idle types that we just created. Now if we go out into the level and we click on our guy here, since we exposed that, we should be able to see under the default tab his idle type and we should be able to just pick it from the list. So right now he's set to patrol, which means that if I hit simulate, he's pretty much going to be stuck because he won't be able to go into his idle wander, which is exactly what happens. So if we go back up here, we're going to go ahead and create a service so that he can actually go, he can actually choose between them. And that service is going to be a new service. So we'll pick BT service blueprint base new. And as we always do, we go back to the top level and rename it immediately. And we'll call it idle. selector service I mentioned this in the previous videos but if you're just coming in now uh, I like to name my services based on what node or what behavior they're associated to because then it's easier to keep track of them uh, double click on that and let me move this over so you guys can actually see it and we will check under the override functions uh, receive tick AI and we are going to drag out of controlled pawn, cast to NPC base. And we are going to get idle type. Uh, during the idle wander tutorial, we did a very similar thing for our uh, state service, because it's just the simplest way of doing this. And we're going to add a variable, and it's going to be of the idle type. It's going to be an idle type key. Idle type key. We're going to expose it by clicking the little eyeball. And we're going to set it to a blackboard key selector. Compile and save. And we're going to drag that blackboard key selector as a getter. And drag out of it and set blackboard value as enum. Set the blackboard value as enum, plug it in, and our idle type goes in there. Compile and save. And now, back to our behavior tree, and we can add our new uh, service. Go into idle selector service. And don't forget to set your uh, your variable set to idle select uh, to uh, your idle type so that we actually look at that and because we use the uh, receive tick AI we're gonna actually make sure that we call it on search start now what that's gonna do is when the execution first goes through here it will actually run the tick one time before it makes its first decision. Notice that the ticks are actually on a timer. So if the timer hasn't gone through, which in this case it might not have for the first tick, uh, it would have actually defaulted to patrol. But we'll see in a second. Let's also make sure we have our board set to both. And now we can save and go back to our top-down map and that should be all we need. So let's see, we have this guy set to idle wander. So if we hit play, he should go do his idle wander. And that's it. Now, if I were to stop and set him to his new patrol, which we haven't set up, he shouldn't do anything. He should just be broken. And if I press number two to turn on my behavior tree for him, and you see idle type patrol. Alright, 
And that's it, guys. Uh, in the next one, we'll actually set up the uh, actor that's going to be his patrol path and hook up his actual patrol behavior. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.